You are listening to Keith Price's Curtain Call. This is Keith Price with Keith Price's Curtain Call, and we are at Feinstein's 54 Below. And again, the press up fronts are insane. This is always fun for me because you never know who you're going to get a chance to talk to. And uh, just happen to be sitting here with just the one, the only Lorna Love. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am fabulous. So, bringing it back to 54 Below, Fine Science 54 Below, we have to make sure to say that. Yes, I know. I know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm here for um, I'm here for Pride. And, uh, you know, it's a weekend that we have always celebrated with joy and happiness and love and respect and reflection. And right now, our hearts hurt. And our minds have been asking why and our emotions have been pushed to the nth degree and so I think it's so vital that we celebrate with music for people who aren't here and for ourselves and I think it's a time to make sure that we all are equal and that message gets out and that we say we stand together as one human being. Oh God, Miss Lorna Luff with me here on the Kurt Call. A- again, so you're you're here just to celebrate. Like you you come from a family where it I'm sure that this has been a very hard thing because your family has you know, it's almost if if it wasn't for the fact that we can name every member of your family as a community <laughs> That's how that's how indelible your your world has been to us, and so to see you feel this kind of pain as an artist, how is this really? How are you how are you pulling out the art for this? I don't think that it's just us as artists. I think the world came to a stop and literally said, "This this can't happen anymore. This has to stop. This has to. We have to now really." take a step back and say what are we doing and and because of this being the 47th anniversary of Stonewall which I've never talked about really? and I went to Stonewall yesterday and I've never talked about Stonewall because I didn't know about it for a very long time mm-hmm. and because it of course the riots happened June 28th 1969 which was the night of my mom's funeral. So the connection I didn't know about for many, many years. And then I was told. And so to have that part of history as part of my legacy is so vital. And so I hold that so dear to my heart with such respect um, I, I, that I... I can't tell you what it means to me to celebrate pride in New York City where it all started. Yeah. Wow. So tell me then, Miss Lorna Luft, who's here with me at uh, Fit Fine Sons 54 Below for her show that she's going to be doing here during Pride Week as she celebrates Pride Week with, with everyone. Um, what, is, what's, what musical fabulousness are you going to be bringing with this show? Um, you know, I had to rewrite the whole the whole show because I it it made me, of course, think about what my message is now, and um, I think we're we, we're talking about reflection. I talk. Um, uh, I I'm singing um, Rodgers and Hammerstein. I'm I'm singing Cockeyed Optimist. I'm singing Accentuate the Positive. I'm singing. Um, I'm doing a tribute to one of my family members who shaped my teenage years and his name was Peter Allen and um, I've got an incredibly fun ending and then uh, I've put songs in there that I I hope will touch everyone's heart so it's really a, a show about celebration reflection and moving forward Gosh, Miss Lorna, you know you and I can sit and do this forever. Um, but Lorna Luft is going to be here at Feinstein's 54 Below, June 22nd, 24th, 25th at 7 p.m. as she celebrates Pride Week. And, you know, 
I I marvel at the fact that you take this very seriously at least the piece of this that's so dear to you that you and you're not you're not mincing on that no no you can't and what you have to do you also have to realize that it was interesting yesterday when i went to stonewall there were uh six or seven uh police officers across the street of course making sure that we were safe and i thought to myself 47 years ago they were arresting people, and now we're hugging each other. So we have come a bit forward. We have a lot, long way to go. But that was really, really, really important to me, to say thank you to the police officers. And then they had no idea. They're all so young. They had no <laughs> idea about what happened. And I, my, the owner of Stonewall and myself explained that, and they looked at me and they said, wow, we had no idea. <laughs> I said, come see my show at 54 Below. I'll tell you the whole the story. Whole story. Oh my God. <laughs> well, again, any chance you get to see Lorna Left on stage, you should take it because it is so well worth the time. And again, Lorna Left will be here at Fine Science 54 Below, June 22nd, 24th, 25th at 7 p.m. Go to Fine Science 54 Below for more uh, information. And again, Miss Lorna, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank so you. Fabulous. Thank you. And we'll be back. Okay. When the sky is a bright canary yellow, I forget every cloud I've ever seen. So they call me a cockeyed optimist, immature and incurably green. I have heard people rant and rave and bellow. That we're done, so we might as well be dead. But I'm only a cockeyed optimist, and I can't get it into my head. on its face and hasn't very far to go yet every whippoorwill keeps selling me a bill and telling me it just ain't so I could say just a bowl of jello and appear more intelligent and smart but I'm stuck like a dope with this thing called hope and I can't get it
us and hasn't very far to go yet every whippoorwill keeps selling me a bill and telling me it just ain't so I could say life is just a bowl of jello and appear more intelligent and smart but I'm stuck like a dope with this thing called hope and I can't